In the time when dragons still roamed the earth, there was a blacksmith and his wife who lived out in the woods. And normally a blacksmith would be in town, but they lived in the woods because his wife was a bit strange and the villagers thought she was a witch. And, well, maybe they think so because her eyes would change color by whim or by day or by moonlight. She always wore a scaled shawl at all times. And they heard that a dragon had landed in the town nearby and destroyed the town. And the blacksmith went to work, and he built himself a stout shield. And then he forged a mighty spearhead and attached that to a good shaft that he'd taken from the, from the woods. And he set out, and he said, Wife, I am going to slay the dragon, because nobody else is going to do so. Very well, husband. I will see you when you return. But she followed him stealthily at a distance, unbeknownst to him. And as he marched down the road, the dragon appeared, massive, terrifying wings, huge of form. And he raised his shield and he raised his spear and said nothing. And the dragon sneered at him and said, Youth, you would contend with me. And he raised the spear and the dragon spit fire. And he had fire struck the shield and he had to toss the shield away. And he raised the spear for one desperate strike. And the dragon struck out with his claw and knocked him to the ground unconscious. And the woman stepped forth. And the dragon sneered again. Woman, you would contest with me. She calmly looked at him and said, Youth, you would contest with me. And she changed into her other form, her dragon form. And when the blacksmith awoke, his head was in her lap. Wife, do I have victory? Yes, husband, we have victory.